Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm Shok Jahan and the name of my speech is Do It Yourself, as it's written here. I'm sure that most of you have seen some videos on YouTube, DIY, Do It Yourself. But today I'm not going to talk about how to make those little pretty birds from the paper, from the rubbish bin. Today I want to tell you a story, though I usually write them. So, when I was a child, I dreamed of becoming an artist. <laughs> Therefore, I went to a math and science specialized school. And I think this was what inspired me to become a writer. So, a few years ago, I moved to a presidential school. And in this STEM focused school, I discovered my potential to write. What a match, you may say. Yes, what a match. I spent days writing short stories, poems, and this was more than just a weird way to complain about my life. But at first I didn't show my stories to others. So one day a famous writer visited our school and I was passionate to introduce myself and make him read my stories. He read just few lines of introduction. In, and was amazed. He said that he really liked it. Now I thank God he didn't read the rest. Anyways, I was inspired, motivated, pushed, and so during my winter holidays, I've already finished my first book and sent it to my teacher, which is sitting and listening to me. So I was kind of very happy and I started imagining. The public eye is on me. I'm in the limelight. I'm answering the questions given by journalists, bloggers, as the youngest writer of Uzbekistan. I've even created a title for an article about myself. The boy started his new year with new achievements. And I fell from the seventh sky when it turned out that it's not quite easy. My teacher said that we'll work with it only after the winter holidays. I said, okay. And when we returned back to school, we worked with my teacher and changed a lot of things in my book. Then sent it to one of the editorials where a man, my who was my teacher's old student, worked. My teacher said that he promised that he'll help me. I was kind of satisfied and started imagining. Imagining is my favorite hobby. So I started imagining. Editor will do a double take when he reads my book. He will disbelieve that it was written by a 13 year old boy. He will become confused thinking whether George Orwell himself is still alive. Expectedly, he was surprised, but it was because uh, he was confused thinking that the only thing that 13-year-old boy could write was such a trash. So when he described my novel to myself and pointed my mistakes, I was unsure that it was a novel. Uh, thanks God George Orwell was not alive, otherwise he would have killed me. So this was the first opportunity given to me, which I lost because my book was so weird. But I was not going to give up when another door had opened for me. My mother's friend suggested one wonderful idea. She said that she knows one competition where the winner's book, which is found the best among others, will be published without any fee. I was again motivated. I tried my best in order to uh, a win that competition, I considered that there is still some hope. And do you know how I have lost it? Suddenly, it turned out that I'm too young to participate in this competition. I asked my relatives, teachers, parents, in order so that they'll contact someone who can support me with publishing my book. It's hard to believe now, but I even cannot remember the number of those supporters. But what I can definitely remember is that the response was the same. Rejection. Either because of my age or because of meaninglessness of my book. 
I wish if they came with a 30 second trailer so I could know what I am getting myself into. I started to lose everything. My will, my hope, my time, and even my ability to write. I got depressed. So many things were there in my mind. So it also affected my study. During the lessons, I used to multitask. I could listen, ignore, and forget what the teacher has just said. So, my teacher said, don't give up on your dreams. So, I went back to sleep. I was sure that my dreams were just dreams. I was so sorrowful that life had no meaning for me. I stopped writing. Life also stopped. I was about to give up when suddenly I realized that emotional intelligence is one of the most important qualities because majority of people, as well as me, got depressed when they, are, when they get into a problem and often give up when they are so close to the solution. So if you are in such a situation, just tell yourself that you can do it and never panic. So did I. I did, I did panic, but I said that I can do. So the time you realize that panicking has no use, you are going to find solution very easily. The time you realize that panicking has no use, you are going to find where your mistakes are and will be able to correct them. Furthermore, I understood that I should do everything myself. For the first time, I personally talked to one of the local magazine's editor-in-chief. Because um, before that, this was done by someone else. My mother talked, my teacher talked, but this time I personally talked to him. And he answered and asked to send my stories to him. I did so. The next day, he invited me to the editorial office. I was kind of worried. So I came and it was the, that exact moment where I took my biggest step in my life. That editor said that my stories are really wonderful, but we would work on them. And this was the first real promise in my life. I got used to coming that editorial every day throughout the summer. Every day we worked with, the, with him and he taught me how to write stories, how to use ironies in them, how to sing creatively. And this yielded a very good result. Just two weeks later, on 14th of June, my first story was officially published on the magazine. I think this was the best present I've got in my birthday, because that day, it was exactly my birthday. So, since then, up to now, just in one year, I've published more than 10 stories in local magazines. One of my works uh, was found worthy to be released on Turkish, uh, very popular international literal website. And I achieved this because I finally learned how to learn from others, how to work with them collaboratively, how to work with people so everyone achieves what he wants. So you, yourself, you should do everything in order to get something in your life. Nobody will uh, just come and help you if you continue sitting and waiting for help. So stand up, inspire people so that they'll help you work with people so that everyone gets what he wants. As a conclusion, sometimes it's difficult to believe, but it's the trust. If you desire something in life but are unable to have it, it means that life has more amazing in store for you, something more amazing in store for you. Simply have confidence that everything occurs for a purpose. Maintain a positive attitude. While being positive and hopeful uh, face to a crisis, in face of, to crisis sometimes is challenging. 
So many of us have a tendency to, uh, tendency to exaggerate our difficulties and make them appear even more terrible than they are. So you try envisioning what you would like to happen instead of uh, thinking what you would afraid will happen. Thank you.